morning welcome to today's vlog today i'm just running through a bit of the morning chores it's a bit late it's almost six um going to open up for the meat birds this is them getting their wings flapped i'm gonna try to start moving them outside their bedding needs to be refreshed and then i'm gonna feed them And I've done a bit of refresh on the bedding. These guys are Cornish cross. They're about two and a half weeks old. And they're going to try to pick me until I feed them. So I'm actually going to change the water simply because they're throwing paper in their water. I actually shredded paper as bedding because that's the easiest thing that I can get. And so, yeah, that's them after I put down a fresh pile of shredded paper. They're obviously trying to get their wings all around it and trying to eat a little paper since they haven't had their breakfast yet. But I'll solve that problem in a short time. Now these are them after they've gotten their breakfast and filled up the water with paper again. They love to definitely rush the food troughs. There are two of them in there and more than enough space for everyone. But somebody always tries to hog it. Look at that guy over there standing on top of the food trough and one over here, actually two over here standing on the food trough. They only sit on the floor, they'll be fine. But hey, they're Cornish cross. I don't expect much better. Now I have a few more projects that need to get done. And let's see how many, if any, I knock off today. The garden definitely needs to be refreshed. It's definitely looking like a bunch of weeds since the last time. Well, not really, since the last planting. But I definitely need to get it organized so I can plant some more stuff. Then the chicken pasture is here. It's just gotten a fresh cut. The girls are actually still in the big house over here. I should bring them over to the pasture, but I wanted to make a couple upgrades. So I actually want to add a compost pile over here so they can scratch. I actually cut the grass last evening, so it actually looks good. And I actually want to also do a shade structure here so they can have some additional shade when they're here and it gets hot. It's been almost 100 degrees outside for a couple of days. Well, for a couple of weeks, actually. So I don't want them to be clamoring for spaces in that particular type of heat. So today, let's see what I can get done. Also, I need to take out this grapefruit tree. Since I've planted it, it hasn't been doing well in this spot. Even the Meyer lemon is not looking that great. But for now, I'm just gonna take out the grapefruit. It's not doing well. I'm not gonna waste good space keeping it here. I'll actually put it in a pot and then We'll see where we put it. But the moringas on the fence are actually looking pretty nice. I planted these from seeds. And now they're almost as high as the fence, which is four feet. These are actually just a chop and drop tree. So I'm actually going to start cutting them. It's really good food for the chickens. Also, humans actually drink their green moringa powder. So I can actually dry it and make that too. So looking pretty good. Now let's get started working. As you can see here, the sand is a bit sandy loam, but I don't think it has as much nutrient as it needs for this grapefruit. I'm going to add a little bit of potting mix and then put the grapefruit in a pot. So let's see how fast we can go. I have more tasks to do before the sun gets too hot.
a crude mix, this clear of my soil mix in here. Now let me show you this container. Now this is a plant in the pot that I noted hasn't been doing well since I've gotten it. I planted this more than a year and a half ago. I think I got it uh, last January, so January 2019, and it just hasn't done much. I'm going to put this in the nursery now and see how it goes. If it doesn't, it's fine, but... This space obviously is not good for it. Now I'm going to rake that down. I saw a few earthworms, so I may come up here and hunt a few earthworms to put in my new worm bin, which is another project for another video. I'm going to do a bit of cleanup on these beds and some broad forking. I also need to reshape the beds as they've gotten rather flat. I also add some nutrients. Last month in season, didn't go as well as I thought it should have. I think the beds are exhausted and need some additional nutrients. So now time to get this done. Halfway through the broad forking, I'm exhausted. On a water break actually, but I gotta get back and finish the job. Cause after finishing the job, I am gonna have to remark the beds, but we'll see how it goes. This is now afternoon. It took me all day to get this forked up. I used a broad fork and actually pulled out all the weeds that were presently, previously in the bed. And so now this is it. I left some basil and some zinnias that I had there before. Um, once I'm finished forming the beds, I will figure out if they can stay. The basil is almost a seed, so I'm hoping to save those seeds and replant those in the next planting season. The beds on this side are now formed up. They are 30 inches wide with 18 inches for the farrows. I now have three beds rather than four and that little edge, which is not really a bed. I'm gonna adjust the fence and make some additional changes. From here, I am going to need to amend the soils as well as cover the furrows so I have less weed pressure. The beds are quite a bit higher than the last time. As I found, I've gone down quite a bit, so I took some dirt from out of the furrows to build them up. Once I've finished this part, I will go ahead and add the irrigation, well, fertilizer first, and then some irrigation going to turn in some fresh compost and some additional soil amendments, some blood meal, some bone meal, and a few other things once I'm complete with the soil test. And then it should be ready to plant. So I will give it another couple of weeks and this one should be fully planted by then. I still need to do the other side though, which will probably take me a little while as that Bermuda grass is rampant over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for another episode. Bye.